What's going on everybody? I'm Blitz5 and hope you guys are doing well. And this video is going to be dedicated entirely to the new drone in PUBG, which they are classifying under tactical gear. You might hear me call this a scout drone because I feel like this is where this item really shines. I know some people might get upset seeing a drone added to PUBG. I thought I would be because I don't love all of the futuristic stuff that is in other video games out there like Call of Duty. But the way that PUBG has implemented this and a lot of new items in the game, I think is really well done. So hopefully you guys will give this a chance, at least in this video. And then also in the battlegrounds, try it out before you come to a full conclusion on this thing. I know it's a little futuristic and doesn't fit, but PUBG seems to be headed this way and is sort of leaving the past behind. And if you look at their track record, they've been adding more futuristic type items into the game, like the Blue Zone Nade, like the Jammer Bag on Sanak and Miramar, and the Self Res on Tego. So first, the drone takes up a primary weapon slot similar to the EMT Bag and the Mortar on Tego. The two main purposes of the drone are to scout out enemies and pick up items. You can only pick up one item at a time, and because I figured you're wondering, unfortunately, you cannot attach a C4 to the drone. If you've seen any footage of this, it's just a bug. The drone can pick up weapons, ammo, helmets, vests, and even the new in-game bicycle, but other vehicles and care packages are off limits. I think this is a fair way to balance the drone, even though I would have loved to see the C4 plays. Instead, imagine bringing your friend who's sniping on a mountain a fresh vest or helmet with the drone. Scouting-wise, you can use the in-game ping system while flying, and the drone has a distance limit of 300 meters. Once you pass the 210 meter mark, the drone will give you a distance warning and the visuals will start to get blurry. Oh, 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 no, 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 no! The drone is surprisingly fast and does feature a speed boost when hitting right bumper on controller, but watch out because it is not quick to stop. If the drone is shot down or goes out of range, a crash drone icon will appear on the map, and if you are safely able to retrieve it, the drone is repairable and you can fly it again. Oh, so I'm repairing the drone, which takes a couple seconds. Personally, I found the drone extremely useful to check out nearby compounds before rotating or searching nearby rooftops for extra loot and gear. In this clip, after making it into the circle, I cleared out Hacienda and found a few enemies rotating to our west before we decided to move. Again, reminder, you do lose a weapon slot for taking the drone, but if you have a friend who doesn't like to snipe or wants to play more of a support role, this really is a cool feature. Back to some more information about the drone, it does make a slight sound like the bicycle and has flashing lights. So watch out because this can easily be shot down or even taken out with a few punches because it only has 35 health. Also, the drone operator can exit and return to the drone at any time as long as it's within range. On controller, you can use left and right trigger to move the drone up and down and hold X to pick up and drop items. When you exit the drone, you can recall it back to your player by also holding X. For fun, we ran a few tests in training mode and discovered that you can actually deal a little bit of damage by dropping a pan on top of a player. If you drop items like a grenade or a C4, they simply just fall to the ground. This is definitely one of those items where I'm really interested to see what the community will do with it. While we were running tests, so many people in the chat had so many funny ideas to test things out, but I'm sure there's a few things that we forgot. And if anybody out there is able to ever get a chicken dinner with a drone, I feel like that would definitely be one of the best clips of 2022. So definitely want to hear what you guys think down in the comments below. And if you guys are interested in more information about other new features in Update 15.2, make sure you guys check out some of my recent videos. And as always, thank you all for watching. I'm Blitz5, and peace out. Have you moved at all? No, 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 I haven't moved. Right, I'm 200 meters, 200 meters up. I'm going to drop it now. Just dropped it. I see it coming down. Oh, it hit me. It only did, it only did like five damage oh, to me. Yeah. <laughs> it actually hit me though.